Ni hao. Hi. It looks perfect on me, isn't it? But the sad news is that I'm not here to show off the beautiful clothes I have or to prove that I'm a very fashionable person, but to tell you the secret that how I transformed and became not afraid person after my life in Shanghai and ultimately made me to take jazz super challenging course public speaking that is mostly based on presentation which people are most afraid of more afraid than at that and to grow and become more mature person you guys all know where China is and what kind of country China is like, right? Um, some, some even call US China the G2 and Chimerica who take the lead of global economy and the financial institution. And now uh, I want, um, I'm gonna talk about the country that, that I lived in and this is the uh, Chinese traditional clothing and um, the episode starts from here. Well, let me tell you about the special experience happened in when, when I was living in this country um, and I was 13 years old. When I was very young, I was very introverted and timid and even very small person. I, um, I asked my mom to go, go with me wherever, wherever I go. Um, when I was going to the playground, when I wanted to go to my friend's house and when I wa wanted to go to even, even kindergarten, I, I needed my mom. It was just impossible task for me to speak out loud in front of a lot of people and give an full eye contact to a person I'm talking to. I had no self-confidence at all. This definitely was my Achilles heel and I hated myself. However, my family decided to move to Shanghai when I was 13 years old and disaster began from here. It was horrible. I couldn't take transportation and go to the place that I want and because I'll be dropped off in the middle of nowhere and I couldn't eat foods that I love because I was illiterate, I couldn't read the menu and I had no friends of course absolutely no girlfriend and my daily routine was home, school, home, school and home and school it was it it was boring and it was really not good what's even worse <coughs> excuse me not only my classmates didn't let me join the group when they are having lunch in cafeteria but also disregarded me when I asked me some questions about class I was sitting beside the soccer field when they are playing soccer eating donuts alone and catastrophe was that like my classmate told me wrong homework intentionally which was super hard when I was having difficulties of understanding the class materials and hard time communicating with people but this hardship and adversities gave me a huge opportunity to become a mature person and to overcome to to realize the, the uh, important factor to overcome the obstacles um i i I tried to hypnotize myself that I'm a very courageous person and brave person and a bold person who is not afraid of anything. And as time progressed, I became a class representative, a team leader of Habitat for Humanity and varsity basketball team. My life in Shanghai and my attitude toward this, these crises have transformed from a coward to a leader. So, the secrets I want to tell you is there is no one who can avoid ordeals and hard hardships 
throughout the course of their life. But there are few people who know the remedy to overcome the obstacles and hardships they face throughout the course of their life. To have this remedy, enjoy your crisis and turn the misfortunes to your advantage. Intolerable and intolerable and unbearable environment and circumstances will make you stronger person and build you up a real character. If you believe crisis is a synonym of opportunity, thank you.